Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to the channel. I just wanted to reach out to you guys today because we got some really awesome news coming from Big Bro Dude 6119 with his Flipper Zero Evil Portal. Um, he not only just dropped some single file bins to make it way easier to uh, flash, um, you know, whatever kind of device, whether it's an ESP32 uh, cam, like I just made that video on, um, or uh, if you got yourself a room or whatever other kind of ESP32 device, you can easily um, just go ahead and uh, flash them using something like, uh, you know, um, Node MCU or something, you know, really easy to flash it with. So anyways, um, the main thing I wanted to get at you guys about are these awesome new portals that he has just released. Okay, um, got a whole bunch of different ones. So what you're gonna wanna do is come here to his GitHub page, all right? And just go ahead and uh, download the whole zip. Okay, I already have it downloaded and um, unzipped. Okay, here are his unzipped portals. Um, I'll click on a few of them just to give you a kind of an idea of how they look. Um, you know, AT&T, you got, I mean, so I don't know who did this, but someone did an excellent job. So these look amazing. Um, yeah, just to kind of give you an example there. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and copy all of these and move them over to my SD card, um, from my Flipper that I just inserted into my computer over here just a few minutes ago and paste that. All right, now I got a whole bunch of those. So whole bunch of them in there. Now just remember to change the name of whatever file you wanna run to index.html. So that way it, it knows which one to use. If you just leave those names, it's not gonna know which one. Uh, if, as you recall, the original file was index.html, so I assume that is what it needs to be named. So now let me go ahead and um, get this plugged into the um, flipper and see how this looks accessing it from the other end. Okay, now that I got the uh, flipper running the evil portal, I'm going to come on over here. Yep, here we go. I have it named AT&T Wi-Fi. So I'm just going to go ahead and connect to that. Oh, shit. That looks pretty legit, I got to say. So anyways, uh, link is in the description. Head on over there to his GitHub page and check it out.